So I started Elevate in 2016 and after a couple of years we've had a little bit of a break from it but we feel it's really important for the female community to have something like this. Elevate is designed to provide more structure and support around how women train. So it's a little bit of a move away from let's say relentless high intensity workouts all the time and a little bit more focus around strength and the importance of endurance as well. We'll go through how the program works obviously it includes nutrition, it includes a lot of really useful information about the menstrual cycle and how it affects women on a week-to-week -week basis and their training. But yeah it's just all around really what a woman would want. It's very squat, deadlift, hip thrust focused and the community aspect of it is obviously really really important that all these women are on the same path and they're like-minded people and they just want to become more confident in the gym environment but also outside of the gym as well. should be doing in a gym. Everyone has a perception of people that lift weights are going to have hench bobs. Not, not the case really. If you want that, go for it. But it teaches you about your body and what works for you. That makes sense. What would you say to someone? Do it. Uh, don't. Um, don't hesitate. I hesitated for about a year and regretted it every day since. Just do it. Like, don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. Just turn up and get your nice clothes on. Buy some nice clothes to make you feel good first and just come and join in. Like It's the best thing I've done in my life. It's changed my life. Do it. Tiki Tonga's uh, 12 blend. Great, really packed a punch. It's a good all round coffee, you know. Beans are in here. We don't like to leave the beans in there too long because they get a little bit dry, so they need to be fresh. We've got a nice coarse grind. Just give that a little tap. Press this down nice and firm. Give a little twist. Stick that under there. Twist it. All right, we'll use these two. Because our, our glasses don't actually fit on here. Now hopefully we should get a nice little like mouse tail looking espresso, look at that, so that's actually, but I've definitely made worse, so I'm happy with that. We use an Oatly, only the best. Bit of Oatly in here, oh yes. Put way too much in there. So then you want to tip this at a slight angle. 
steam that and you kind of know when it's done because this flask gets really hot so once it's past that point of being able to hold on to it which is quite a long time for me because I've got thick thick skin it's more of a challenge ah oh, okay that's done to just flash all the air bubbles out of it we'll get a glass off the top because it's nice and warm pour the espresso in first and this is where it all goes wrong for me because I'm not that great at the pour so I'll try and get a nice a nice milky pour with a little bit of latte art at the end so she wanted a flat white well she's got an espresso so that's fine and there you are look at that and what I've done is I've just put a little sort of uh, I don't even know what is that a leaf I put an autumn leaf on the top because we're coming into spring and what I've just done here is I've just walked off and I've left the biscuit in the thing so you need to always make sure you bash that out otherwise people give you a nickname biscuit no one likes a salty biscuit and that's it. Why do you look so proud? Because I've not, I've not made one of these in ages. That's a latte. That's a beer, mate. She drinks a flat white. And a cappuccino. Thanks. Thanks, Luke. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. This is our barista. <laughs> look, that'll give me a tash. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so when we reopen, just get yourself down here. I'll make you one as well. File. I started Elevate after my second child to lose weight. My belly, obviously I had just given birth, so yeah, I was, my main concern was my belly at the time. And then I soon learned that I could actually focus on other parts of my body and shape and sculpt with that kind of training, which I never knew was possible before. I have gained in every aspect. I've got the shape I wanted now. I'm more knowledgeable about diet, how the menstrual cycle affects your training. I'm stronger, I'm more confident. I really have gained in, in every area possible. I would say especially diet-wise, because before I, I always thought I ate healthy, but in actual fact, there were so many other areas that I didn't know of. So I, I, I'll now track my calories every day. It does, it's not obsessive, but I allow for their treats within my diet. Um, I, I would say you have nothing to lose. You'll be made to feel very welcome. You'll be guided every step of the way. I mean, I came in knowing absolutely nothing. Three and a half years later, I can now come into the gym quite independently. Um, I am in control of my diet, my daily routines, exercise. So I would 100% recommend this program. No, Okay, so before I said that, in fact, I did use this milk when I made Mad Dog's coffee. We use an Oatly, only the best. Put way too much in there. I messed up. This is the milk we normally use. Oatly Barista, it's creamy, it's thick, it's great. And that's what we use in our coffees. And that's what I'll be using from now on. <laughs> lose power. Really? You tuck the knee in. Three, two, one. <laughs> you guys 
is absolutely <laughs> shocking. No, no, no! You're supposed to be doing it together. What the f is wrong with you both? One and two and three. <laughs> Best friends. Yep.